In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Welcome to our Mass today. We celebrate uh, the memorial of Our Lady of Walsingham. As you can see now, we are three. Pleased to have with me Father Peter from the United States and Father Trevor from uh, Australia. And they're both scripture scholars, so I'll have to uh, up my game. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. You are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. You are the Word made flesh, the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that as in the mystery of the Incarnation, the blessed and ever-Virgin Mary conceived your Son in her heart before she conceived him in the womb, so we, your pilgrim people, rejoicing in her motherly care, may welcome him into our hearts and become a holy house fit for his eternal dwelling, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Haggai. In the second year of King Darius, on the 21st day of the seventh month, the word of the Lord was addressed through the prophet Haggai as follows. You are to speak to Jerobabel, son of Shiltiel, the high commissioner of Judah, to Joshua, son of Jehoshaphat, the high priest, and to all the remnant of the people. Say this. Who is there left among you that saw this temple in its former glory? And how does it look to you now? Does it seem nothing to you? But take courage now, Zerubbabel. It is the Lord who speaks. Courage, high priest Joshua, son of Jehozadek. Courage, all you people of the country. It is the Lord who speaks. To work, I am with you. It is the Lord of hosts who speaks and my spirit remains among you. Do not be afraid. For the Lord of hosts says this, a little while now, and I am going to shake the heavens and the earth, the sea and the dry land. I will shake all the nations and the treasures of all the nations shall flow in. And I will fill this temple with glory, says the Lord of hosts. Mine is the silver, mine the gold, it is the Lord of hosts who speaks. The new glory of this temple is going to surpass the old, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place, I will give peace. It is the Lord of hosts who speaks. The word of the Lord. The response to the psalm is hope in God. I will praise him still, my savior and my God. Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Saviour and my God. Defend me, O God, and plead my cause against a godless nation. From deceitful and cunning men, rescue me, O God. Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Saviour and my God. Since you, O God, are my stronghold, why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? Hope in God, I will praise him still. O oh, send forth your light and your truth. Let these be my guide. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. And I will come to the altar of God, the God of my joy. 
My Redeemer, I will thank you on the harp, O oh God, my God. Alleluia, alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our mind so that we can see what hope his call holds for us. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. One day when Jesus was praying alone in the presence of his disciples, he put this question to them. Who do the crowds say I am? And they answered, John the Baptist, others Elijah, and others say one of the ancient prophets come back to life. But you, he said, who do you say I am? It was Peter who spoke up. The Christ of God, he said. But he gave them strict orders not to tell anyone anything about this. The Son of Man, he said, is destined to suffer grievously, to be rejected by the elders and chief priests and scribes, and to be put to death, and to be raised up on the third day. The Gospel of the Lord. The shrine of Our Lady of Walsingham in Norfolk goes back to, uh, to Saxon times. In the year 1061, the Lady of the Manor saw a vision of Our Lady and was taken to, in her vision to the house where the Annunciation take place, took place. And she built a replica, a small wooden house. And the house became a place of pilgrimage, a shrine, a place of devotion throughout the Middle Ages. It was destroyed at the Reformation, but then afterwards it was restored, and today it's, it's an ecumenical place of pilgrimage. Anglican pilgrim, pilgrims, as well as Catholics, travel there to, uh, to, to pray and, and to offer their devotion to Our Lady. In today's Gospel, Jesus describes to his disciples the suffering that lies ahead for him, his betrayal and his crucifixion. And of course, his mother Mary will share intimately in the suffering. She'll feel it as if it was herself. Um, as Simeon prophesied, the sword of sorrow would pierce her heart. I think about those pilgrims of the Middle Ages, I think that suffering wasn't an abstraction for them. It was very much a part of daily life, perhaps more so than it is for most of us. They lived in a world where rates of infant mortality were sky high, where death of mothers in childbirth was commonplace, where there was no antibiotics and no anesthetics, and uh, people died of diseases that... Uh, that are easily treated today, they knew all about suffering. They knew about suffering and not being able to do anything practical about their suffering. And they turned to Mary as a companion and an intercessor. And although our lives are different, it doesn't mean that there's no suffering. And we can turn to Mary in the same way as one who suffers with us and intercedes for us. Today's Mass, our prayers are asked for Elizabeth Gaffing. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Amen. 
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Robert our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, your spouse, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, God Almighty, Almighty Father, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For kingdom, power, and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ. The body of Christ.
Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech your Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Amen. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.